there's nothing that stands out about the the markings or the workmanship that would make someone suspect this to be uh, no good so I don't know if uh, you know what the story would be on that but if a, a manufacturer and this piece looks fairly old would have gotten caught passing a piece like this to a jeweler you know that manufacturer would be done at least that customer would be done buying wholesale from them and that's why back in the late 70s and all through the 80s and 90s we really didn't have to worry about this kind of crap you know we started seeing stuff come in from China and Thailand and India and then we had to start worrying about these uh, second-rate uh, you know under carrot and totally crap pieces uh, of gold and just uh, it's quite worrisome especially at these rates and on to the final item for today day 91 of the countdown and that is silver eagles now I have a, a buyer for these uh, somewhere between 250 and four dollars uh, over spot depending on the quantity that I'd like to move but what I would like to talk about is is the condition you know normally I pay uh, a very high on these but this this one here has lots of rim nicks uh, two big scratches on the back well actually about 15 big scratches on the back uh, a little dent, uh, lots of uh, rim nicks, and a bunch of rim nicks on the front and some scratches. So I'm not going to pay, you know, spot for that. Or I, I think I paid two dollars under for that one. Um, here again, just a, a really rough, very worn uh, eagle, uh, big rim dent on there, and. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to sell those for, for over spot. And they may even be melted down, uh, just scrapped. And then this one here, just a lot of toning. Uh, that one there is actually kind of pretty, so that, you know, that could fetch uh, spot or over. But, uh, you know, really when they're, they're buying these Eagles and they're paying $250 uh, plus over, spot they're going to want them to be nice pristine coins and so I adjust what I pay based on the condition of eagles and as far as the silver bullion eagles are probably the only thing that I do that with uh, well I would say I probably do it with with maples and buffaloes and things like that as well but uh, as far as your generic rounds I I really don't pay a lot of attention to the to the condition now your painted and enameled eagles are, are not worth a premium. In fact, they're probably scrap. Uh, I think everybody hates them. Uh, nobody around here wants them. And when I sell them on eBay, they, they sell for a lower rate than, than what they would if they were not messed with. I think that's all the tips I've got for today. Goodbye, folks.